Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Wow, my forehead is so shiny. Let me put some powder on that right now. So for today's video, I thought it'd be quite interesting to show you guys a bit of a day in the life of a content creator and show you some behind the scenes of how we shoot content because I always get so many questions about it. And you guys will also get to meet my assistant and we've been working together for two months now and we've just got such like a good routine together. We know exactly how to work together now. And yeah, you guys are definitely gonna be seeing a lot more of her over the next um, few months and stuff. So, so a shoot day normally starts the night before and I'm going to insert all the footage here. It is currently 11 p.m. I'm shooting tomorrow at 10 a.m. So I'm getting everything prepped and for some reason this is the time where I think of the best outfits. So I always leave it like quite late at night because I know that's when um, I find it easiest. Ignore the current state of me. I've been working all day and this makeup has been on my face since 8 o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, I try each outfit on, try off lots of different pairs of shoes, try off different bags and work out of every outfit kind of not complements each other but they need to be kind of different and then I take photos of each outfit so then tomorrow I feel really organized I know which outfit and which accessories go with what and I can kind of see it quite visually and clearly um this is one of the outfits I actually love it a little waistcoat from Zara with some tailored shorts underneath from New Look so yeah I'm just currently deciding what shoes to go for here are the options I actually think these are too heavy these are perfect or do i go for a wild card and go for something white um no that's completely random i do not like that at all and then once the outfit's put together with the accessories the shoes and everything i'll put it into a pile and then pop it into this big bag this one's from katie loxton and it is honestly the perfect shooting bag because it's so big so yeah this one is just perfect and it's actually just so chic as well i absolutely love it anyway next outfit is for an ad do you guys remember i had these zara tops similar to this and i said i hated them because because they fell down the quality was terrible well i tried out these naked ones and these are perfect so i got this one in black and like this taupey color so um, i'm doing an ad for naked tomorrow so i'm gonna shoot this one and some black jeans so very very simple but just one of those outfits that's really easy to recreate okay so i've got three outfits together which is normally what i aim to shoot with but then i always try and have one spare outfit just in case i don't know if something doesn't work sometimes on the day i just i don't know i just don't like it so i always have a spare and yeah pretty much most of these pieces are old pieces pieces maybe mix with like one new piece yeah i try and mix up slightly with new pieces just to keep my instagram fresh and interesting obviously i try post like every day and if i posted with my same wardrobe every single day i'm pretty sure you guys would get very bored so yeah i kind of find that mixing some new pieces with some old pieces is kind of the most um i don't want to say sustainable but kind of the best way to do it and it also means i can link things for you guys because i know it's so annoying when i post an outfit and you can't buy anything because everything is old that's one kind of part of the job that i do struggle with slightly okay struggle is a very bad word because it's not a struggle obviously one part of my job is showing new clothes showing outfits showing how to put outfits together but then the other part of me is that i've always been into this whole capsule wardrobe thing i think if i wasn't in this job i probably wouldn't well i mean i definitely wouldn't buy as much as i do but yeah i think i found like a good balance this year of the two um like how i just explained basically it is also worth noting as well when um like bloggers and influencers do hauls like zara hauls we don't keep it all um at least i don't anyway um i do not have the facilities for that to start with i live in london we don't have much storage space what i tend to do is i show you guys in the hall i say what i like and what i don't like what i don't like goes back straight away and then everything else i kind of give it like a period of like 20 day window where if i if i gravitate towards it loads i keep it if i like gravitate towards it like once maybe but then i end up not doing it then after the 20 days i take it back so that's kind of how i operate with things and then that way i keep things that i wear i've got this thing where if i keep something I take off the tags and i don't wear it, it honestly it i don't know i just hate it it gives me such bad anxiety so um i mean when I, that happens i just put it on my depot but even then i don't like doing that anyway i just think it's good to explain these kind of things because um, to me, sometimes it's obvious, but then I guess to you guys, it probably isn't. Should we go to bed, Opalina? Should we go to bed? Ready for an early start tomorrow? But yeah, I'm all back, ready to go tomorrow, so I just need to get ready for bed, and I will see you guys 
bright and early in the morning. Good morning guys, it is currently eight o'clock, I'm leaving at nine, so I've got an hour to do my hair and makeup and like pack everything up properly. I look ever so slightly ghostly on my face, I'm gonna bronze up using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in the shade three. So when I woke up, it was the perfect shooting weather, which is bright, but really cloudy. And I love this because it almost acts as like a bit of a diffuser for the light and when it's in direct sunlight it's actually very hard to shoot because you have so many shadows going on and yeah now the sun has come right out so I'm kind of hoping it pops back in again to make it the perfect shooting weather but if not we can work with it it's fine there are a few locations I go to around London um honestly my favorite place to shoot is around Mayfair for some reason I just love the light there and I find the locations quite interesting because you know um it's very clean you've got like nice luxury shops and stuff it's just a very nice area of London however I shoot there all the time and I don't want it to become repetitive and boring so today I'm shooting somewhere else I've shot there once before and honestly I don't really like going to new shoot locations because the good thing about Mayfair is I know exactly where the light is at what time I know what location is good at what time like I've just got it nailed basically so whenever I go to a new place I'm always a bit just yeah, it's just, there's a lot of like kind of to and throwing, trial and erroring. And I know it probably doesn't sound like it's that deep, but, but yeah, it's my job. And I like to get these kind of jobs done fairly quickly. I don't want to like mess around. Last week I launched my very own Instagram filter and I was honestly so excited about it. And the reaction has been insane. Within a week we've had two million impressions and Molly Mae used it on her story yesterday and I fangirled a bit. She's probably one of the only YouTubers who I consistently watch like every single one of her videos. There's so many YouTubers who I love and watch, but like I don't watch them so religiously. But Molly's, I always watch hers, I just love her vlogs. This mascara is my new favorite. You guys always ask me what I use since the Marc Jacobs has been discontinued. And it's this one, so I'll have this link down below. Like, look, it's just insane. But yeah, with the filter, I wanted something really natural that doesn't change your features. And I find most filters do. They make your nose slimmer, they make your face slimmer, they make your lips bigger. I personally just think that's very damaging. So I wanted to create a filter that enhances the colours because I hate how dull iPhone looks. So it makes the whites brighter and it makes the kind of tans more tanned. So it's just really nice on the skin and on the complexion. It has the option of adding a little winged liner as well. And it also has the option to smooth your face slightly because I know some people do like that. But again, it's very natural. It's only at 3%. So um, you're not gonna look just, yeah, really crazy. If you want to use this on my Instagram page under the filter section, so you can just um, find it, save it and use it yourself. For blush, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in the shade Ecstasy. And for lip liner, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Deep Taupe and NARS Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm. For foundation, I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is a foundation I've recently revisited. I used to absolutely love it when I was a teenager. I used to cake it on like there was no tomorrow. And it's quite heavy coverage, so now I just use like the tiniest amount and it goes quite a long way. And the best thing about it is it lasts all day. Even if it's like 40 degrees outside, that stuff is not coming off of your face so it's really ideal for days like this where i know that i'm going to have quite a long day it's going to be shooting probably going to come home later do some more shooting like reels and stuff like that so i just want my makeup to last and i think i use the shade tawny but i'll have a link down below okay that's my makeup done now let's go on to hair okay i've just curled my hair with the ghd soft curve i think it's called i normally just use the dyson but it's really humid today so i'm hoping that this will last a little bit longer and yeah i'm all packed i'm all ready to go so i'm gonna hop in a taxi and meet my lovely assistant who you guys can meet today Okay, so we have got to the location. Everyone meet my lovely assistant, Grace. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be so awkward. Oh no, don't worry. I feel like I need to fine. take time to adjust. <laughs> so yeah, we are just uh, trying to scout a little location um, and I'm gonna shoot this first outfit, which is an ad for Naked. So what I always do first is I test the light on Grace, so like see what the background's like, show her exactly what I want. And this looks quite nice, so we're gonna try here. Okay, wait, I feel like I'm too far away oh, now. sorry, I'm not too far. Yeah, there we go. bit of a turn which is really good it was so sunny now as you can see nice and overcast so perfect for vlogging have i said that already 
<laughs> I've got such like a fish brain. But yeah, I've done some like standing shots and I'm now going to do some little sitting ones here on the steps as well. Do you think? Let me just show you. Okay, on to outfit number two. I've got this Zara top on, which is so nice. Um, my favourite trousers, these are new look. And I'm going to switch up the accessories as well. We always get changed in just like a hotel, basically. <laughs> it's just a bit easier. Um, we've worked out that if you walk in with enough confidence, they don't ask any questions. Okay, so I've completely forgot to vlog the last um, outfit shot. But um, this is my next outfit. This is from Zara and New Look. I showed you guys this one yesterday, actually. And yes, we're going to go find somewhere else nearby and shoot this one now. Also want to get some shots for my new vlog. So we might do some um, on the camera maybe as well, which will be interesting. I've never actually taken a photo on this camera before, just videos, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm thinking for the next shot, we're gonna do it here. It looks very kind of Parisian, quite minimal. Um, and yeah, let's give this a go, see what the light's like. They're just in the last vlogging, not vlogging, shooting location. I've got this outfit on, uh, shirt is new look, and then my shorts are from Mango, and then my Hermes sliders. And then it looks like it's about to rain, so I'm gonna get this done quickly, and then I'm gonna go home. Okay, I'm gonna pop you guys down here. Yeah, I think do a bit of everything. photos now i'm just going to do one quick video as well just in case i want to film a reel or something you do look quite small so i might need to come a bit closer yeah no i don't think so Okay, so we are home and I'm so hungry. <laughs> but before we eat lunch, I just have to quickly do a couple of stories for a paid ad I'm doing over on Instagram. And then we can finally sit down and have our little lunch break together. It's now 11.30, I've just been um, editing the last hour or so. And now my final task for the day is to plan tomorrow out. So I'm gonna time block tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually quite nice because I've got the whole day free. So yeah, I can probably just have like a nice slow working day, do some desk work, film some more reels. I've been loving TikTok at the moment, especially where Instagram is just having a right wobble at the moment. I mean, even Kylie Jenner posted that she's struggling with reach. So if Kylie posts it, then I think we're all a little bit doomed, but I'm sure it's gonna sort itself out um, sooner or later. Anyway, I have been loving TikTok and I've had a few videos like go semi-viral I guess and yeah it's just kind of weird because it's just a completely different and new audience I mean I think like some of you guys have kind of come over to TikTok and um you're with me there if you don't follow me on TikTok by the way make sure you do because I post stuff on there that I don't put on YouTube or Instagram but I have to say I've been really enjoying it anyway I've just checked the stats as well for my Instagram filter it's now gone up to 3.2 million that is just crazy <laughs> My plan for tomorrow is all organised. I've got one more thing to do before going to bed, which is replying to any new messages, getting back to any new comments on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. And yeah, I mean, I definitely can't reply to them all, but I, I try my best to do like the majority every day. And then that will probably take me to midnight and then I'm going to head to bed. Um, but I have to say, replying to these messages and stuff, it never feels like work. It just feels like I'm chatting to friends. So I don't think I can count that as well yeah i'm going to end this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing a bit of insight into kind of how we do things if you guys would like me to do this more often or maybe go into more detail of things then let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye